so we decided to wash the shoe. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Do you have help me with yeah, something to yeah? Yeah, that one I'll just twenty ten. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at what I got myself into. <laughs> We're going to be starting this episode with a story time. You know, as a traveler, you meet all kinds of people. I'm the kind of person who believes, strongly believes, that there is a lot of good people in this world than bad people. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that while you are traveling, <laughs> while I share all this great content, sometimes you also meet horrible people or you might also meet people who will befriend you just because they believe there's something they're gonna gain from you. I mostly tend to focus on the positive. I'm that kind of person. Like, I once I see negativity coming from this side, I just turn. I don't have time to entertain or tolerate negativity. But throughout my experience, I can say 90% of the people that I've met have always been amazing. I was just sitting today, and even last night as I was going to sleep, just reflecting on my journey, my experiences, and all that. And I said, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. And that's also in relation to my last visit here in Haiti. I came to Haiti last time in April. That was the time <laughs> the country was shut, like the airport at Port-au-Prince, at the capital, was shut. So the only way you could get here was through Cap Haitian, which is the capital of the North Department, which is where I am right now. I was in the Bahamas before coming to Haiti. I really didn't know many people. It was just a leap of faith. When I was in the Bahamas, I learned, I never heard of Bahamas here before, and I learned that they have flights to Cap Haitian in Haiti. I was like, oh, this is my chance to visit Haiti because I've always wanted, I remember in 2020, I wanted to visit 2019, they about 2020, but it seemed like this place that you just can go, I was told it's extremely dangerous. Trust me, like, when I see some comments on my video of people saying, oh, you're gonna get kidnapped and all that, I totally understand because that is what I thought too before ever visiting Haiti. I thought it's this place that's extremely dangerous. There's just people loitering around waiting to kidnap you. Like how it's put out in the media. And if you're watching me and you're like, oh my goodness, African tigress, oh, why are you doing in here? I totally understand it because I was just like you because it seemed like this place, there's gangs all over the country. There's disease, there's what, there's just a lot that we saw in the media. And uh, at that time, I couldn't even think of coming here. But when I was in the Bahamas, all that changed, and I was like, okay, this is my chance. I booked the flight. I came here. And trust me, <laughs> I'm crazy because I organized with my Airbnb host. He picked me from the airport, and then the next day I had to figure out. No, the next day it was raining. I didn't go anywhere. I stayed indoors. Then the following day, I just said, I'm going to step out by faith and whatever happens well happens <laughs> so i stepped out if you watch my video you know i stepped out i was walking these cool girls helped me get a vehicle i was going to vetier i think that's what they call it that's where like the battle for independence was fought and when i got there as i was going around there's somebody who approached me and was borrowing me money to buy food so i did have some change on me so i gave him and then i told him hey i would love to go to the boulevard boulevard is like the most popular like it's more like the hip strip of Carpathian. this is where you're going to find the clubs the hotels you know 
all the entertainment is at uh, the boulevard so i told the person i would love to go to the boulevard but the person was not understanding and my french is not so good so even with my broken french i think the person wasn't like really understanding but because he could tell i was speaking english he went and called some of his friends they were just there's some people at the park of it here that are just sitting there uh probably you know like hustler i would call it like hustlers or maybe you know life is not easy like it's one of those if i would relate it to nairobi it's probably like uhuru park so you know like it's this place where people just go they sitting they're waiting you know to get any opportunity to do you know a job or you know something like that work and maybe some people don't have job so it's just a way of you know passing time so he went and called another guy and he was so good he was speaking good english i think if you watch you remember his name was rudy and i requested rudy i told him um here for the first time i really don't know much would you spare some time to just show me around i'm going to the boulevard uh, would you go with me he accepted he went to the boulevard with me i think you all remember we took a motorbike and we went to the boulevard on the way going to the boulevard i remember we as i was filming he was you know we were talking and we got to this place he told me oh you need to put your camera down you can't record in this area so when i pull my camera down so we were going around the area suddenly i felt some um, sharp pain on my forehead like somebody hit me on my face so i was scared because you know you've been told to put the camera down so meaning the place is not really a place where you can film because i don't know what goes on there so i just listened and then i i felt a very sharp pain on my forehead i thought someone had uh, pelted a stone at me or thrown a stone at me but it turned out it was someone who was throwing something to someone across the road and of all the people it landed on me who was in motion on a motorbike <laughs> of course i screamed <laughs> and uh, the motorbike stopped and i think of course everybody was like oh shoot it hit her i don't know what they were saying of course they were speaking creole so i don't know to be honest even at a certain point like at that moment it's like millions of things ran across uh, across my mind is it a stone is it a bullet what is it but it turned out it's just like the person was throwing a key to the person across the road so it hit my forehead and landed on my lap while he's still on motion so the motorbike man stopped after a while and then I had to give them back the key because it, it was on my lap and uh, they apologized and thank goodness I had my sunglasses on because that sunglass, my sunglasses prevented it from like really getting into my eyes because it hit the sun, my forehead and sunglasses otherwise it would have landed in my eyes anyway we went ahead we explored downtown Nidrudi. he was very nice and um even while exploring downtown it was not all roses and all that uh it was that rainy season i don't know if you remember this place where i was passing and the road was bad and the um, mud is like jelly so i don't know how how to put it like the mud and the water when they mix it becomes like some sort of jelly or porridge like i don't know how to call that I didn't know how deep that place could be so as we were crossing because it's one person after another so I moved to like give way to someone little did I know <laughs> that mud like or that mud is very soft and could be deep I my whole was it the left or the right not so sure I have a video actually I just didn't put that in the final cut and if you want to see the final video just like the unfiltered like the uncut the raw video i might upload it or maybe i would upload it to members only i don't know i'll figure out but i my whole leg not the whole of it like my feet my ankle uh and part of the lower side of the leg was all immersed into the mud 
couldn't even be angry. I just laughed at myself. But Rudy was very, very caring. He was very, you know, he's a very good person. And he just offered to help me. We went to a nearby place. He washed my shoe. He washed my leg, washed my socks. And after that, he ensured that I got home safe. Like, he was like, do you want me to take you all the way to your address? I was like, no, it's okay. Just tell him, because I told him around the place where I was staying. So just tell him to drop me at this place. He said, it's okay, when you get there, uh, let me know. Uh, my phone is terrible. He had like these feature phones that don't even charge, cold charge or anything. Like those ones tied with rubber bands and things like that. It's like, I don't know, like that phone was barely working. Uh, drop me a message if I'll not be able to uh, reach out to you, I'll get back to you. Of course, I got to my accommodation and I reached out to him, sent him a message. Of course, he wasn't online because that phone doesn't work. It's like those feature phones. I don't know if you know what I mean. Tied with rubber bands, looks like scrap. So later on, he was able to borrow a phone and get back to me. And throughout my stay here in Haiti, even when I was in the south, when I was when I was in Port-au-Prince, he was always reaching out to me every day in the evening to check on me. Before we get to that, after as I was getting to know him, as he was showing me around and going back, he told me he didn't have job a job. Yeah, like he told me he does like trying to get scrap metal to sell makes about 500 gold per day 500 gold is 130 gold makes one us dollar so 500 gold a day is like two two three dollars he says that's like on a on a good day so on some days he doesn't make anything at all and the day that i happened to meet him he was just like trying to like you know frustrated like just trying to figure out his life so he just go to the park and sit and you know because there's no job, you can't get scrap to sell, scrap metal to sell, you can't get anything. So that's how we ended up meeting. Actually, before I left him, I did give him some money. I just ensured I'm paying him at least maybe more than a week, what he would have made for a week. Because this is someone who helped me when he didn't have to. He offered to take me all the way and he didn't ask me for anything. Like, I gave him money not because he asked for it but because i just appreciated how nice kind and helpful he had been to me he was such a sweet person i actually uh, bought him a phone now <laughs> this is where today's episode comes to i've been trying to reach him we were in touch even after i left haiti but i know there's issues with internet uh he told me i think he told me he doesn't even have electricity and uh internet of course is expensive remember he doesn't even like really have a proper source of income so internet is a problem and we kept in touch and sometimes he would go use the daughters he would go to the daughter i think maybe the daughter is a student i did get in touch with her daughter his daughter his daughter is a student, is learning, she's learning how to be a chef. And then I kind of lost touch. I, when I came back, I called and unfortunately his number, someone else picked. But today, I want to go and look for my friend, Rudy. That's why. So today, I want to go look for Rudy and I would love to teach him how to create content. If I had a job, if I, I don't know, I feel like that's the only way I can be able to help him right now. If I can teach him how to, you know, create content, it might be a struggle for him to get, you know, to upload and all that. Maybe he, you know, gets a restaurant or a place where he can get free Wi-Fi. I don't know. It's complicated, but I feel like I need to really help him. So let me know your ideas. Also, let me know if you would love to see the raw and filtered episode on my channel. Let me know. So let's go look for my friend Rudy. Ooh, let's go. This is my, my best view. 
best view for Carpathian from up here. Music, music. Copyright, merci. This is Rudo uh, Labade. Rudo Labade. Some people have built very nice, beautiful houses in the mountains. They kind of hidden. It is completely mute. Okay, right. Hi, Wichi. Hi, Tigress. <laughs> That's my brother right there. That's my brother right here. So we're going to downtown first. We need to fix the car. We want to fix this car. There's an issue with the car. I need to get some gasoline for the car and then go to Vetia where they fight for independence. Yes. Yeah. Let's do this. The streets are quite narrow here, so... Especially like if somebody parks just across the road, two vehicles can't pass. I mean, this is one of the oldest cities here in Haiti and back in the days when these cities were being designed, the, I, I, I would presume uh, people used to use horse carriages and things like that to get around before cars were invented. So the streets weren't, weren't were not really meant for vehicles, but you know, for modernization, a lot of old cities are just preserved as they were. Artists. One of my favorite images from this city, this one, Citadel. It has a citadel, it has, carries a lot of history. What hotel is that? Satama. Oh, oh that's Satama. Oh, it's very popular. I don't know if I'm able to zoom it. It's in the mountains. Maybe I'll visit, I don't know, but it's quite popular here in Carpathians. Carpathian.
Yeah, that one up in the mountain. It's called Satama. And I think it's the most expensive. Most expensive, wood? Yeah. The most expensive hotel here in Carpathian. You see? Yeah. Mechanic is here? Yeah. Okay, let's get this sorted. Here we are. Let's see what's up with the car. What's the problem with the car? Bonjour. What's the problem? Hmm? What's the problem? Oh, it's the fan. No, where? The fan. The fan. Fan. Let me stay across the street. It's extremely hot. I'm gonna see her right here. And wait for them to fix the car over there as I show you the street. Okay, cool. Yeah. Ooh, it's extremely. What did they say? What's the problem hmm? with the car? What's the problem with the car? Hey, it's good when I defend much. Why not? So the fan match. Yeah. Oh, so not radiator. It's not the radiator. No. Fan. Fan. Okay. I say fan, you say fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ale or gasoline? 
Yes. But let's get a place we can exchange money. Dollar. No, first change face. Change first. Mm -hmm. Dollar to good. To good. Yeah. Allez, allez, for the expedition. Turning or I know a lot of you remember which this is my brother right here, yeah. my family here in Haiti. Yes, sir, forever. Family forever, forever. forever. Uh, how do you say forever in Creole? Toujours. Toujours. Tuju is always. Yes. What about forever? Tuju, tout le temps. For life, how do for you say? Life. Pour la vie. Pour la vie. Oui, pour la vie. For me, pour, pour la vie. Pour la vie. Tu es ma soeur. Non. Ma frère. Je suis ta, ton frère. Oui, tu, tu es, es ma frère. Non, tu, tu es, es ma soeur. Non, tu. Tu es ma frère pour la vie. Eh? Mon frère. Mon frère. Mon frère. Pour la vie. Pour la vie. You are my brother for life. For life. Yes. <laughs> oh, is that that's in French? C'est le même en créole? Is it the same on Creole? No. On Creole? Ou c'est c'est moins. Ou c'est c'est moins. C'est moins. Ou c'est moins. Ou c'est moins. Et how do I say for you? How do I say to you if I want to say you are my brother for life? Ou c'est moins. Ou c'est frère moins pour toujours. Ou c'est frère moins pour toujours. Ou c'est frère moins pour toujours. Yes. Ok. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go. Exchange money fast.
uh, are we going to the place to change money? Dollar? Yes, yes. Dollar to good? Dollar to good. Okay. Change. Okay, I'm packing. Here. Okay, you're packing. Okay. Let me get some money. Money, 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 money. So you got it. You changed hundred dollars. Yeah. They gave us. A, a tres mil. Uh huh. This a second good. Count. So this is Haitian money. Yeah. So let's see how much for we get for one, hundred dollars. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Ten. Ten. Ele ten okay. Eleven. Even, yes. Twelve. Thirteen. 30. Oh, okay. Okay. This is more. Normally, I get thirteen because they exchange at one hundred and thirty. Yeah. So this one is better. I get two hundred and fifty more. Yeah. Yes. So that's the exchange rate. This is the currency they use in Haiti. They call it the Haitian good. So for a hundred US dollars, you get most of the places I've always gotten 13, 13,000. But these ones have given me 13,250. So they did, I think, 130.2. I think it's 130.2. So next stop, gasoline. Oui? Yes. So we need to put gas in the car. the streets of Capetian it's extremely hot I don't feel like it's hotter right now than it was back when I was here
busy streets, the houses and bustles, the streets of Capetia and Haiti. Traffic, they call traffic blockus. Is, is this a marché market? This is a market? Like the cell phones. No. You're selling the cell phones. Oh, oh, electronics. Yeah. Oh, so they're selling electronics. Well, not only electronics. They sell for cell phone on the street. Yes. Does it have a warranty? Yeah, yeah, warranty. Oh, so this section is. Uh, I see. Actually, see lots of cell phones, covers, and chargers. Wow. Interesting. Power banks. It's interesting that you can just buy a cell phone in the streets. Anyway, we've made it to national gas station. Is 8,000 enough? Eight thousand gal 8,000 good, how much gallon? Uh, 12. 12, it's good? It's, it's good? Yeah. How much is full tank? No. How much is it to put full tank? Uh, I'm think those mil good for the thing, but you suppose have. Okay, let me let me put ten thousand. Okay. Ten thousand good. So if we put for ten thousand good. Hi. Yeah, bro, make it go. Kens is 15. Kens is 15. 15 gallons. Oh, so the gas here you sell in gallons. Yes. Not by the price. Because in Kenya you'll just say, where I come from, you say, give me gas worth 15,000 Kenyan shillings. No. So here you have to sell in gallons. Not by price. Oh, okay. Sangu. Sangu is how much? Sangu. Sangu is Sangu. Five good. Huh? Sangu is five. Huh? One hundred. Us, oh, one hundred good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me buy one. You want one? Okay, let me, give me two. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, cool. Keep change. Just bought this to support the little boy. Topsy Fresh Mint chewing gum. Okay. Let's see. It was empty. Let's see how far that has gone. Oh, it's full. See? It's full now. It was empty. It's full tank. Yeah, let's go. This is good. So, 10,000 good, it makes this car full. Yeah. Okay. 15, 15? 15, it's 15. What? We have. Say 15, 15, you call it you say, gallon, 15 gallon. 15 gallon. Yeah, 15 gallon is good. So that's about um, that's about 80, almost 80 USD. 
80 80 in terms of US dollars yeah almost 80 US dollars yeah. Now we go to the Vertier. Vertier, yes. Next is Vertier. So, our So our next stop is going to be Vertier. That's where they fought the battle for independence and that's where I met Rudy last time. So let's go and see if I can find him there. Let me try calling his number again. What does that mean? Voicemail. Yeah, voicemail. Okay, so when I call him, his number is goes to voicemail. I'm calling both his numbers. They on voicemail. But the other time I called his number about a day or two after arriving to Haiti, somebody else speak and they were speaking in Creole. Unfortunately. I don't know what they were talking about and I couldn't translate so let's go and find out at Vertier if not well maybe if someone sees this video they'll be able to contact him or communicate to him because I bought him a phone so I don't know I don't know what happened because we were in touch until about four weeks ago and then I haven't heard from him. So you say it's a place where children go to play. Okay, so he's gonna be showing me. Every day. No, uh, every week, every when weekend, on weekend, on Saturday, weekend. Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the name of the place? Fun Hall. Fun mm Hall. -hmm. Sounds like funeral. Fun, fun. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Oh, okay. Fun Hall. Fun Hall. Okay, so let's go and see Fan Hall. Oh, we stop here? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so he wants to show me a place he says is called Fang Ho. So, he says it's a place where they have events on weekend. It's very beautiful place. Oh, it's a children's park. Yeah. Oh, it's called Fun World. Oh, I heard you say Fun Ho. It's Fun World. Let me, let me zoom, let me zoom, let me zoom. Hold on. Lakai Fun World. Oh, come. So they have events here on weekends. Three p.m. Today? Yes, on three p.m. Three p.m. For children. Oh, it's basically a place. If you have children, you want them to come and enjoy all this. Uh, 
All right, all right. Oh, okay. Oh, there's more to that side. Poo baby. Yeah. Or if you want to leave your inner child. See? Yeah, they have so much more to this side as well. Okay. Only children play or adults too? Uh, adult. Oh, if you want to play as well, you can play here, right? Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, look at this. This is real ice. This is actually real ice. Look at that. It's real ice. Interesting. Big blocks of ice. Let's proceed to the tier. I hope I'll get Trudy there. Because Because I also understand he doesn't stay far from the plane, so... Last time when I was with Rudy, it was around this place that I was told to put the camera down. If you're from Haiti, let me know why. No, it's not here. No, 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 no. There was a lot of buildings, but I think it's around the corner. Let's proceed. I'll show you the exact place. I think it was around here, around this place. What's this place? Bele. 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 Yes. Is it dangerous? No. Not Bele and the uh, Portland City. This is Bele and Capetian. Bele and Capetian. Yeah, not Bele. You, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> so Bele in Porto Principe is not good. Yeah. Oh, it's like B E L A I R. Yeah. Bele. Bele. The Fresh Prince of Bele. But this is last time I was here. When I was passing this place, they told me not to record. They say no, I should not, not record. Place. Not this place. Not this place. You never. Pass and this, you pass this and this. Not place? with you when I came before I met you guys. Uh, first time. Oh, your first time? Yeah, first time I passed here. Uh, yeah, this is the place where. You guys lying for For real? Yeah. Okay, let's. I'm not so sure, but I think it was around here. If you're from Carpathian, let me know. Let me know if that's what goes on around this area. This is still Bel Air. Is yeah. this still part of Bel Air? No. Ah. What's Why? this place? What's the name of this place? This place is a uh, cash. Cash. Yes. Okay. I'm getting confused. I'm not so sure where it was, but I thought it was Bel Air. It's also say good cash. It's safe. Safe. All the all the is safe. All 
But I think it was around Belea where I was told like I cannot record.
just made it to vet here. You pack, we go look for him. If he's not here, and then we go to. I want to go do pedicure and manicure. So we made it. We made it to vet here. Allez, allez, allez. We made it to vet here. This is vet here. It is in memory of the Haitians who fought on the wall to help Haiti gain independence. You'll get more details. I'll put a link to the video that I did here. This time round, I'm on a different mission. I'm looking for the man that really helped me last time that I was here. I can't find him, I can't get him on phone. I did buy him a phone. So I'm hoping, maybe, maybe, just maybe, he might be around here. This is the War of Independence. 18th November. Let me zoom. Wait, let me zoom in. Yeah. This was in commemoration of the Independence War, the Revolution. Battle, the Battle of Vetier. Battle of Vetier. Let's check around. Maybe I might find him. It's a public park right now. And right here is where I met Judy, behind, on, towards that side. So I'm going to be checking on that side. I'll go with you. Bonsoir. You say what? Mm -hmm. What does he say? He can help me. I'm looking for... I don't know if they know him. But he's called Rudy. Last time I met him around here. So just trying to look at everybody around here. I hope I'm hoping that Rudy will be somewhere around here. Or maybe somebody knows him.
Last time he was in that corner. You see this corner here? Yeah. You see where they are sitting? But I don't know how to ask them. I don't know if they know him. He was sitting around there. No. Ask Rudy, if they know Rudy. Let me show you the photo. Rudy, not T. Rudy, let me show you. Yeah, this Rudy. Oh, so they don't know him? No. But you know him. You remember yeah. him? We did. When I come back, we met him. Okay, let's check around. Maybe he's not here. Let's go this way. If we can't, if we can't get him, that's fine. He's not here. He would have probably seen me. Yeah. Okay. We tried. We tried finding him. Come, come. Let's pass through here. Just to show people, those ones who might not have seen, this is the monument of Vetia. Rudy is not here, nobody knows him. Maybe it was just that one day that it happened that he was here coincidentally. So. Uh -huh. This is the monument that was erected. In commemoration of the Vetier battle. Witty. Make sure you watch my first video that I'm going to put in the link to understand the value or the importance of this monument. This was in commemoration of the Vetier battle that helped Haiti gain independence. They fought this for 13 years. Okay. No success. I was really hopeful. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm, I was hoping I would get to meet him. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened to the phone that I got him. Yeah. 
c'est où on a cherché. Let's go, I do. Let's go, I make my, I go do my nails. Vous êtes capable d'orienter les personnes là. Nous comptons pas aujourd'hui à tout de suite. Je vous explique à tous la excellente informatique pour le tout de suite. How do you read this? Novembre. Novembre. Non, novembre en français. En gros, c'est quoi? Hein? Novembre. 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 That's November en gros. Novembre. I was so hopeful, I was really hopeful that I was going to meet him, or maybe somebody knows him, I've shown them, I've shown them the photo, they don't know, they don't know where he is. Maybe Rudy, if you watch this video, or if you know where he is at, reach out. I was in touch with him almost every day, even after I left Haiti, up to until four weeks ago. So, let me go do my nails because I wouldn't even want anybody to see how terrible they are because the last person who did my nails did a terrible job. It was like she, I was a guinea pig that she was using to learn how to do the nails and she was charging so expensive for it. So, which he told me that she, he knows someone who does very good, yes. good quality. Yes. Because the last person, I can't even show, like, if someone looks closely, they look terrible. I'm covering these two because they are worse. But look at this, like, what the heck is this? It's very clumsy. So, let me go get, I'll, I'll, I'll not do anything on my nails today. I'll, I just want to get this ish off. When I get this off, I'll probably do my, my toes. The same person did my toes and less than two days they were already coming off, so... Let's go get a specialist.
that charge ahead is a very important monument or landmark, very popular here in Capetian. I'm very sure when you search you for photos or videos of Capetian, you definitely are going to see the charge. That one. This one. That's the church, very important. A lot of history about it in the video that you'll find in the description and in the pinned comment. Close. This is the place, but it's closed. Not come. No, 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 no. For oh, the for nails, nails, pedicure. Okay, okay for, go, let's go to the not come. Oh, pedicure is closed. Yeah, we, I, we have a, another place good to. Where? It's in the town. Okay. When, when, we, when we finish to go there, to the. From not come, we go yeah. to the place where I can do my pedicure and manicure. Okay. of ancient colonial French Louisiana style buildings look at the doors and the streets very a very a very historical city this was the capital of Saint Domingue that's when Haiti was still a French colony. This is the place on. Not come? For the nails. Oh, for the nails? Yeah. Okay, I'll come back. But let's get not come because Digicel is disappointing, so. Keeping the faith and hoping that Natcom will be better. Okay, from the moon. This is not. You see. Okay. Natcom. Look up. Yeah, I see Natcom. <laughs> so we go, go pack first. Oh, we go pack first. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay, so now I want to change the SIM card I've been using because the internet is terrible and I can barely stream and even browsing or even watch a video sometimes so let me try a different provider maybe this will be better 
Say so what? What she say? She's selling. She's selling SIM cards. Yes. Which one is better, here or inside? Or is the same. What is it? How much they selling the SIM card? How much they selling the SIM card? Two hundred good. Okay. What is I'm hoping the network would be better or faster. So I don't have to ask you for hotspot all the time. <laughs> so the SIM card costs 200 goods which is approximately like almost like a dollar and a half Sebo? okay let's go wait you say what what does that mean this is for the 30 for one month 1.5 gigabytes? I don't need minutes, I just want data. Listen, uh -huh. it gives you one each megabyte every day. Every day. Every day. Every day, every day it gives you. 1.5 gigabytes every day. We for one month. But I'm not here for one month. Let's go and see the options we have. What's the other option? Okay, what's the plans you need? I check for the plan. Yeah, let's see different plans. Uh, the only plans they have. Yes. Is there other plans? You have different plans. No, like what about the one that doesn't? Three hundred. Take this. Three hundred. Okay. Yeah. That's your ball. No, not come no me. Say you. Yeah. Yeah, say some they got that visa. That's a new one. So we're now buying airtime. No, yeah, so we're now buying airtime. This is the new number. This is the new number. Where are you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so here we are. Valentine's Baba and Beauty. Speaking pedicure? Yeah. No, here he is just Simple. removing. I don't want anything on my hand. I just want her to remove to, to, to clean it. Only my feet. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so here we are. Valentine's Baba and Beauty. Speaking pedicure? Yeah. No, here he is just Simple. removing. I don't want anything on my hand. I just want her to remove to, to, to clean it. Only my feet. Alright, so here we are.
Well, so I just came from the salon. The service was okay ish. <laughs> Probably maybe a four or average. The application was good but too slow and also like I don't know over two hours to just over two hours to just do my feet is extremely long. So right now I'm going to Lakai, I'm going to eat and of course do some work, go do some editing and eat. This is my favorite place here in Carpathian, the boulevard. This is where you have to... This is where you have all the restaurants. Yeah. So let's take a walk at the boulevard. Thank you so much for watching this episode if you know where i can get rudy or rudy if you watch this please reach out to me don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe i hope i'm gonna meet him before i leave haiti that would be really amazing so i always say sharing is caring go ahead and share this episode and i will definitely see you on the next one until then bye bye Kwaheri. Au revoir